Hello guys, hello guys, welcome back to BST African Electronic Surgery on a Friday afternoon. And uh, let's continue um, with the, our repair. Yesterday I started a job that was like an audio am power amplifier which was not working. The DC in the 12 volts DC input circuit was not working. And uh, even if I tried to use the in AC input, there was no sound which was coming out. I checked everything. That was the, that the original board. I checked all the NPN, NPN transistors. They are not shorted. We do have the MOSFETs here, which was switching the coil here. All of them, they are not shorted. I checked even the regulators, 5 volts regulator, 12 volts regulator, and the 79112, which is switching negative 12 volts. It wasn't shorted. So we have a situation here. The only thing which I seen which was abnormal, we do have a, we do have a rectifier bridge. The AC pins live and neutral were shorted. I took out everything, but the short did not. I, I failed to remove the short. Finally, I found out that the coil was shorted. That was the coil. Yeah. Let me see this one, which I marked here. That was the original coil, inductor coil, which was shorted. So my colleague gave me this board almost the same. I took out the coil from this board, and uh, that's the coil. And you now want to replace the coil. You want to replace, but before replacing, we can check again on that uh, rectifier bridge which was shortage those pins we don't have a short you can see so it means uh, that was our problem okay this one so let's come with another coin but i never found like a shorted coin that looks weird to me why if we put the coil we have a short without the coil there's no more there's no short there it maybe i don't know so what i want to do i want to replace this coil after that We can see if our problem is solved. Obviously, my problem is not the coil. The main problem here is about sound. This amp is not outputting any sound. But all the D1944 transistors, they are good. Yeah, that was a, a challenge yesterday. Because I thought maybe that gonna going to be simple, but it seems to be so hard. So let's see now. Let's see now. Let's see now. All looks good. This 
these wires are too they are too long so I'll cut them okay so let's check now with a different coil that's the old coil let's check with another coil again and it's shorted again how come check that's the rectifier bridge and it's shorted again so at first we've seen this uh, broken track it seems like uh, the user chambered with polarity minus and plus it do vice versa and from that moment bad things happened and uh, i put another coil still is reading a short we still have a problem there okay let's go back a little bit and try to follow the 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 the, the plus 12 volts 12 volts parallel you know let's 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 follow the plus on the dc input from the plus 12 volts and see what's going on here zero zero and it's going to, to a capacitor to filter the voltage okay after the capacitor what do we have it's going straight on this inductor coil you can see zero zero those are the pins of the inductor and uh, in order to have voltage on the secondary this inductor is being switched by these MOSFETs we do have two MOSFETs here let me see IRFZ44N these ones so in order to have voltage on the secondary it's being switched so what this coil is doing is just boosting the 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 12 volts voltage okay before it being amplified okay so so i think we have a situation here We have a situation I tried to be fair enough on this board I checked everything let's check again those uh, MOSFETs first one good second one good obvious on the rectifier is still shorted let's check those uh, NPN transistors we do have four the first one good second one good third one is okay and the fourth one is okay I even took all those uh, transistors off the board and I checked them one by one but uh, nothing is working so we have a situation here so what else can be the problem here what i want to check more we do have those regulators let's recheck everything
कोच 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 Let's try to check for broken pins. I can't see any. Okay. Everything seems to be okay. So Let, let, let's do something here one second okay so i was looking for a blade so at this moment i think this is the point when you need to, to go back in time and acquire the basics you know so what i want to do We have the the plus two volts is coming here to this capacitor, and we have uh, the primary stage of the inductor coil, which is being in this coil is being switched by these MOSFETs, and in that way we have a higher voltage on the output, and it's coming straight to the rectifier. So what I want to do, let's cancel that uh, boosting circuit. We do have the last pin here of the coil and the voltage is going straight to the input of the, the bridge rectifier. So we want to cancel that circuit. That's all what we have to do here let's cancel that circuit let's test now you can see we no longer have sh short on the rectifier bridge and the all that is left is to test so i will put everything together and we we'll test to see if uh, our ink is now working okay let's do it together let's connect all the wire all the cables let's connect all the cables all the cables And the tests. Maybe we still have a problem. We do test with the, with the DC. We do have lights. How can I do it for you to see? We have a speaker here. Let's connect a speaker. Speaker connected. What I need to test more. What I want to inject, or well, I can use even the the AC, but no, I do not use the AC because the owner is using DC. So let's plug in the flash and see the USB flash. I 
I think my wires is not, but you can you can hear the sound. My cables are not properly connected. Let's test with the AC. But it can be happy because we now have sound. Can you hear the sound? So our temp is now working fine. So that's how you can modify and fix things. But uh, I need to to make sure that the DC is working properly. Because let's go on twelve volts. Twelve. Even here, I'm injecting twelve volts. You can see on this on my adjustable power supply. So, so everything is working fine here. We now have sound. I know there's nothing I can do, but uh, I just wanted to to show you how you can modify things. Um, obviously, we are not fixing things with the schematics here because we are not there. We are on the next level of fixing things without schematics, you know. Okay. So, what I will do, I'll stop this video now because obviously we have achieved our objective. So, like, subscribe, don't forget to turn on the notification bell for future updates. See you on the next one. Bye.